Yeah, good day to every one of you. You are welcome to my channel. Today I am uh, talking about uh, dealing with your enemies, cooking them, punishing them, and removing peace and rest from their life. The people that are working against your case, uh, against you, against your family, against your work, against your business, people that have shown that you will never have peace of mind. You will never lift up your head. That anything that you do, it must end up bringing sorrow and failure in your life. You may be laughing with these people, but these guys are plotting evil. You may be laughing with these people, but these guys are planning your downfall. Some of them are your people within the village. Some of them people in your office, in career, in neighbors, friends, relatives. These are the categories of household enemies. And I want to give you a very powerful uh, way on how to cook them and let their head hit them themselves. Actually, take their heads and hit them on the wall. By doing this, I'm telling you, you're surprised to see what will happen. Turning the cases of what they have plotted against you to become. The story of Naaman. I beg the story of Haman in the book of Esther is what is going to happen. The same gallo that Naaman prepared for the Jews is the same gallo that hanged him. The same stone that your enemy has sent it to you is the same stone that will hit your head. It's a hole or a grave that they have digged for you, a burial. In some grave that are decree that this grave is going to bury them. Are you listening to me? So this is a product of the land. It's a spiritual action that I'm showing. Cook your enemies and make them to pay. Punish them. Let them pay everything. Now inside here, as you can see, what you see inside here, you may not recognize. Number one is a gunpowder. Number one is a gunpowder. Gunpowder, if you don't know gunpowder, we have white, we have black. Now, number one is a gunpowder. Number two, after you cook the gunpowder, mix them, make, cook them very well, put it on the on the pot like this and on the charcoal pot uh, I beg on the charcoal jiko then you put on the on the, on the uh, inside the pot clay pot then heat it until it is very very hot okay after you heat it until it's very very hot like the one you see um the one you see uh here what is happening here? Inside here, you add, you write the names of the people, all the names of the people that you know that they are behind your case. Now, if you don't know any person, you just write my enemies against my life, my house, my business, my children, my ministry, my progress, those enemies of progress, you will write their name like that if you don't know their names. The third thing that yeah, after you write, you divide into small pieces, you put inside here. This is very, very powerful. Then the other thing that you are going to do, you are going to mix them. The mixture that you are going to use is a knife. Use a knife to mix. Let me show you uh, practically what you are going to do. 
Okay. We're going to mix with a knife. We're going to mix with a knife. Uh, yeah, this is what you are going to do. Okay? You're going to mix here like this. With a knife. As you mix, you make your prayers. What you want happen to each one of them. When you finish, pour the product of the land, the mixture of apple ball and the guinea inside, a powder. Pour it inside. After you pour it inside, cover it uh, with a, a cover like this. You cover it that way. Make your prayers. What you want happen? When you finish, get twenty one seed of alligator pepper. Twenty one seed of alligator pepper. Now you are going to drop inside one by one. You take one in your head. You do prayers of your wish. The way you desire your heart, you pray it out. Jesus said in the book of Mark, chapter 11, if you read verse number 24, he says, so whatever thing you desire when you pray, Remember that a desire is the first thing before you pray. So, your wishes will be your desires. You now speak out your desires. You now pray. After you do that, you drop inside. You open, you drop inside. You close. You take another seed. You do like that till the end, 21 seed. When you finish, you now uh, allow them to burn to ashes like that. You light, uh, you light the two candle, one candle of your element and another candle of financial wealth. Like a green one and then one is your element. The financial wealth candle is a green in color. So you light, you light those one and the one of your element. So you write on bay leaf information that you want to take place in your life, apart from destroying, punishing, and putting, reversing everything, and what you want to do, what you want happen to you now, you write your names on the bay leaf, and then the information you want to happen, like money, what, what, then you burn on the candle of the wealth which is a green candle, while the color candle is burning. When you finish, my friend, just uh, put off the candle and release the ashes of the remaining of bay leaf at the entrance of your door. After that, you have finished the case, thank God. And then you can relax and see the dancing of the spirit, how the spirit is going to sing and men are going to dance the rhythm of the spirit. When a spirit is singing a song, and men will begin to dance. Ha! Ah, fire is on the mountain. God bless you. I invite you to do this recipe. If you are seriously going through a very hard time, it's a good thing to do it in daytime or in the midnight. You can still do it. You need to do it in a confidential place where you are not interrupted. As you can see, this type of service or recipe, where the stupid and foolish people, they will call it witchcraft. Just because you see a pot, and somebody say you can do it in the night, and you put a pot on fire, these are the stupid things that people don't understand. They call it witchcraft. I am one, I'm not worried, because everybody should do what God has called him to do. Now, this is the knowledge that I'm giving to you. And when you practice this knowledge, I'm sure that you are, you, are, you are sure of a result. God bless you. I love you all. I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye.